Uh, let's see. Just load out a new scene, so I'll make sure it's going to work. Um. Let's hope this works. There we go. Sweet. Alright, we are up and running. Uh, I got all the mods 3 Remix running. And uh, back from a work trip, I have a little starter house created. Um, thanks to Prefab. And a little... Um, food farm. Nothing crazy, just what I've harvested up. And what else? Uh, I did a little bit of exploring on the map because I didn't like my spawn. Um, and I wanted a good place to later be able to build a lot. So, found a little open field area. Hope everybody's enjoying their Friday. Uh, it's a little warm here, but nothing too crazy. Actually, speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and open up a window real quick. Just to get some better light. Alright. So, we'll let you see here. Um, so this is where I end up building my house. My little farm right there. Um, crystal forest. Magical forest. A big village. I just got it to load in the other day. Um, haven't checked it out yet, so I might go do that today. Also looks like a rogue dungeon. A roguelike dungeon there. And then this was the area that I covered. I started up in here. Or probably right in here, actually. Um... I don't remember what this was. It's an interesting cavern I'll have to go check out again later. Um, <clears throat> and then I have one, two, three of these little subterranean spawners. Um, they're pretty cool. I don't remember what mod they're actually from. But I'm a fan because you can actually um, use them to make they don't have to really use them, they just kind of do. Oh, that was the beans, okay. Um. So I'll show you here, it's um... Something from Roots, and I've already looted all three of them, but it's a little subterranean area that mobs spawn in, um, but they tend to ignore a lot of spawning rules. So it's kind of an interesting little thing that you can work out. Um, it's like I can torch this whole thing up and remove the top and they'll still end up spawning um or maybe that's just a bug in an old in a older update um I haven't done much exploring yet uh, even just in the area that I've got um and in my mine um that the house comes with well, it's not really mine in the ladder down um is dangerous. Okay, that's 
just mining stuff out. Where did I block them off? What? Oh. Yeah. Crazy dangerous. So I'm probably going to find a different way to start to at least get iron and get set up. No. I swore somewhere I ran into a mine shaft too. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. So straight into a mine shaft and straight into a giant cavern below, which is kind of nice, except for that I am starting out. That's a fairly dangerous prospects. <laughs> um, oh, and I made just a little bit of smeltery um, stuff to start with. What I need is some glass. So I keep seeing these weird, like, red and blue colored mobs. On the map, though. So I'm assuming they're all below. So I've never actually seen them. Good. Tear this out. Then, There we go. Get all those guys taken care of. So you can end up as, you know, good ways to earn uh, any mob drops. Skeletons and zombie related anyways. I don't think creepers were usually spawning in them. And I got a, uh, a strainer set up for clay, because clay is always a problem. Um, I could probably set one up later for sand and gravel. Which I probably should do. Um, 
and then bolts and arrows. Um, clay I have, I should actually set one up for gravel. Oh, right. We'll dump this stuff in the chest, and I don't want to risk losing that. And then we village. It's a ways. Oh yeah, it's a little too far. That was just something I lit up, and. There's a lot of really weird terrain features with this seed. And a lot of bees. Oh. Oh no, that's the bottom of the thing. Oh, I thought I found another spawner. I was going to lose it. But it's just the bottom of the current spawner that I have. Or that little root spawner thing. I'm going to kind of treat this um, a little bit differently of a playthrough to see if I can help keep myself focused on projects and plans. So first things first, obviously for me is, um, I mean I have a mine shaft, it's just going to take a lot to get into it. Um, and I need to get, you know, starting iron, um, copper, tin, uh, I think aluminum, I don't think I've really found much of aluminum yet, but it's using those, using that starting tunnel I have is fairly dangerous. Since um, oh, yeah, okay, this is as bright as it can be. It's like such a crazy broken. Well, I'd call it broken. Um, like, it's crazy world generation. Make 
a bit of an easier way down there instead of having to cross the whole blasted map. Oh. Maybe there isn't an easier way. <laughs> but iron, more copper. And some aluminum. Oh no, rock salt. God dang. Like that. Rock salt took the place of basically all the aluminum spawn. Such a very, very... Ooh. Sunset. Time to go sleep. Because it's already dangerous. <laughs> does mean though that if you screw around and like where I have those steps you can get a lot of nasty spawns so if I leave it uh, it gets a little bit more dangerous but as you get more geared I can take care of it just fine uh, good coffee Toss all these in. <clears throat> yeah, freaking one aluminum. Ugh. So they just, I guess they just spawn a lot. They don't, they're really broken anymore. Lots of slabs out of them too. So that's kind of nice. Um, should eventually pen up some cows and sheep. It's not a bad thing then that I came up last night. Got would have been able to take myself just far enough to get into trouble. 
<laughs> and not dig my way back out. Um, so, yeah. We'll go back down and grab uh, a lot more coal. Need that as well. And I don't really need as much string yet. But I want to keep these crops going because eventually um, I'll start up one of the mine colonies villages and they need a lot, it just needs a lot of resources. Lots of food, lots of wood. Um, and a lot of tools. Cool, so that's actually working really good. Already got one stack of bows. Bones. Not bows. Stack of bones. There's that. I have to upgrade all these for storage very shortly. Um, there's a lot of storage options in this with this mod pack, though. There's my glass. Four. Four. Oh, I do need. Do you definitely need to? There we go. Um, Oh yeah, down below these, <laughs> giant pit. <laughs> Wait, what is? Why is that a pickaxe? <laughs> See, this is where I have problems. I'm easily distracted by shiny things. here so I really do need to get more gravel um, to the old trusty super comp oh wait that one can stay there the super compressed casting setup have extra I'll put in a uh, tank there so I can do blocks so I need one two three four five more at least okay let's top off hunger and then see how I'm getting down in here it's an animated axe okay nope I'm not dealing with that. I've got the one marker. Be fine leaving that with two. Um, since I will need more gravel and sand, this. Five for a hopper. And. More wood for chests. Wait. I don't need more wood for chests. I have ten. There's that. And 
It's gonna be it'll be worth it. It's ten percent more efficient, has a lot more uses. Um Oh no. Well, not extra for when that eventually runs out. <laughs> space. Oops. Go. <laughs> oh, sorry. God dang, that one snuck up on me. I couldn't even get to the button. To, uh, me and myself. again. I mean, I do, but I'll just leave myself muted forever. Alright, there's all that. Um, we'll let that clay do its work. Um, to get more coal. Let's go cut down a tree close. I plant all those trees. So, I will end up needing better... Well, the better tree growing probably won't really happen until... Probably gives you extra hearts, but I'm just gonna eat it and see what happens. Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, a waste of a heart, but more of them will spawn, so. Let's go raid this other village. Then... 
coal. Um, and I want to come back. We can check this trainer. So many weird mobs in this one that weren't in the other all the mods pack. It's gonna be a lot of me learning mobs. Um, you know, which ones are really nasty, which ones are not so bad. Um, quite a bit of the mods I'm familiar with, but. Not all of them. Um, not like... Alright, I zoomed away in. So many things that are underground. It's just all tore up underneath. Village here might actually be crazy dangerous. Because the miner will be digging up bad stuff constantly. Probably be losing guards. No, nope. is he getting stabbed by bees? Audio file. Interesting. Very interesting. Ooh, 15 for an emerald? Pfft, I can give you that all day. Ooh. Oh, no, never. I'm not going to give you that much. Jesus. That's ludicrous. Oh, okay. Wand. Oh, torches the darkness while in your inventory. Done. Torch in a straight line. Sweet. Iron pick and bread. I don't know anything about those. And I think every kind of gear. <laughs> Avenger IO. Good tree tap. You, yeah, I've met you. Toolsmith, 16 coal for. Eh. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, big pool of lava, too. Yes. Oh, yeah, let's do. Uh, so I like to mark these due to uh, to the name of the waystone because every village ends up with them. Thirteen coal coke. What are you guys? PCB. Pneumatic craft, man. So many things. Purple light, not bad. Um, pretty good haul. And I will take this. I need the couple more. <laughs> Coast. 
No thanks. Um, is there anything else really good to loot? A blue sheep, huh? There's a red sheep. You're a pretty terrible, Fletcher. Pumpkins. No melons, though. Guess I could just put it right in the center. There we go. So these are always cool, but... Um, Bonkers, ridiculous. Oh, so it does use my supply of torches. Yeah. I'm not starting in there just yet. I want some real armor. <laughs> um. Sheep, you're freaking me out. Cut down some trees here. Bubbles. So we'll see if it lights up in the. I'm assuming it will in the bobble inventory slot. Oh, wait. Home is that way. <laughs> that would have been bad. Would have been a no man's land. of skeleton spawners. <laughs> I don't need to dally along here. There's some clay. There's another big opening. Which I'll have to check out at some point. Um, you guys will have to excuse the uh, soon to be very loud noise. The trash truck is coming down the street. Um, oh, alright. Let's go raid this little chest. D wait, did I already... No chest. Oh, I already stole it. Okay. I can't trust any of those little gaps on this map. It's like everyone I thought was fine was just a pit of doom. Falls. No, 
I know I can jump over fences, zombies, and all those cannot, thankfully. One of those. Quality of life mods. It's pretty fantastic. Should really set up a f pressure plate for that. does not work. Um, so instead we're going to come back, check out the village. And then what was I going to do? Oh. Let's see, this is why we get never seem to get very far in these because I always forget. Always. Inventory's full. <laughs> That's the first problem. Empty the inventory. All I did was sleep. Um. Empty the inventory. Check our traps. Going there. You, you, this thing, that. No, I'll leave that all in there. Those can all go in there. Okay. Now, this lovely thing. Well, for now, it's just going to be. Everything. Oh yeah, and the docks will bark at it. Because they have this thing about loud trucks. Um. We'll keep... Yeah, for now we'll keep, let's say, wheat, potatoes, carrots, the regular food harvest things in here, um, string as well, just because that's where I'm always going to look for it for quite a while. <laughs> food, oh yeah, I do have two ender lilies, I managed to get two of them in like one of the very first chests from these things, come on, go outside, so that was amazing. Amazing find. Um, I mean, they're going to take absolutely forever to grow. And it will most certainly be more beneficial to just, you know, like, go to the ender. See, that thing's almost used up already. I think that's 701. That's one that's 49. Um, I think... Oh, she just got back. Oh, oh, she had gone somewhere. Maybe I fell asleep and I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I was resting my eyes. Maybe I was more successful than I thought. <laughs> Andy told me this morning he was in Waverly, which is right outside uh, Lincoln. Okay. Yeah, I thought he was further west. Yeah, I looked it up and it said it's part of the Lincoln Standard Metropolitan Statistical Area. <laughs> so, actually, he's not far away at all. <coughs> yeah, it's a lot closer than a... But I... I thought Laura had said Mound, which I thought was out west. That, I know his stop is in Grand Island. Yeah, but. Was, he must not have got... I, th I 
I'm assuming he overnighted in Grand Island because he, he told me something about in Waverly on the way to Grand Island. Yeah, he had must have must have slept there then. Or, well, no, because yeah, he should already been. I mean, by noon he should have already made it there. Well, to oh no, this was early this morning. Oh okay. 